Hey, Lou. Hey, Lou. Uh, what do you think? Here we are at Stingray's Marina on the Sacramento River having a great time, although it is like 193 degrees. You can't quote me on that. Uh, technically, I think it's the same temperature as the inside of a McDonald's apple pie. Okay. So it's like or equivalent to the temperature on the surface of the sun? Roughly. Okay, so it's that hot. Yeah, roughly okay, that Okay, gotcha. Hot. Yeah. Um, in fact, I don't want to say I'm fat, but when it gets this hot, I sweat gravy. Where's the drum? <laughs> Thank you. On this episode of Men Are So Smart, the number one most popular fast food chain according to drunk people. We're right at home on the next Men Are So Smart. So after a late night of one too many rounds of Jose Cuerfo, your inhibitions are definitely not as high as the confidence you mustered to text your ex. While drunk texting certainly isn't something most of us are proud of, the questionable decisions we make while intoxicated usually don't end there. That's right, we're talking about drunk dining. Oh, uh, that's one of my favorite things to do. So after a long night of drinking, most of us turn to food before we lay our head on the pillow. Our late night snacking could be spurred by being conditioned to think stuffing our faces will help us sober up or because studies have shown that drinking alcohol actually can increase your appetite. I'm hungry. Uh, regardless of the reason behind why, the people are uh, over at rehabs.com were more interested in asking the question, where do you go? Hmm, where do you go? The website surveyed over 5,900 people to ask about their post-drinking eating habits, specifically, which fast food chain are drunk people's go-to favorites? The results, Taco Bell. There you go, Taco Bell, that's my favorite. Is drunk people's number one go-to fast food restaurant. That's right, almost 41% of people surveyed chose the Mexican-inspired joint as their go-to food stop. A not even close second was, as a member of our crowd mentioned, McDonald's. McDonald's. With 25.1%. Uh, of the intoxicated folks voting for the Golden Arches. The majority of female respondents, ladies, reported that they ordered tacos followed by quesadillas, nachos, burritos, or a Stingray's Marina cheeseburger. <laughs> so although intoxicated folk enjoy a trip to the Bell late at night, the fast food joint isn't a terrible choice if you're concerned about calories, women average uh, indulgence is 715 calories per drunk meal, <laughs> and men at about 730. Yes, yeah, men, all right. We kill it. Yeah. Uh, on about the other 15. hand, uh, bar crawlers who choose to dine at a Waffle House end up consuming the largest amount of calories uh, at a whopping 1,009. Do you like the Waffle House? Have you ever been? Uh, I've been, to, we went to one, I think it was the Waffle House back in Tennessee. Yeah. And it was very good. Did you have chicken and waffles? No, no, I couldn't. What is that? The, what I, is the deal with chicken and waffles? I don't get it. They don't go together. No, they That's don't. That's like fish tacos. Yes. Yeah. Now, strawberries and waffles, that goes together. Yeah, I could go for that. I can do that. All right, so eat this. Next time you hit the town, steer clear of indulging in a second dinner by practicing better drinking habits. Avoid drinking on an empty stomach and say no to sugary cocktails. Instead, go for an alcoholic beverage with benefits, such as an antioxidant packed red wine. I love a good glass of burgundy, so that's my per first preference, a nutritionist says. I drink it slower than a cocktail, which ultimately means fewer calories from a boozy night. I gotta tell you, if you ever wanna have a hangover, drink sugary drinks. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a big fan for the sweet drinks. Uh, I will do a uh, a vodka grapefruit. That's uh, that's got a tang to it. Yeah, that's got a little bit of a tang, and I I like it, and I tend to think of it as healthy. It's grapefruit juice. Um. So do you, well. You don't really drink not much, much Ron. not much Christmas um, parties. Yeah, but you probably aren't drunk dining then. No, no. Uh, for me, I think the go-to 
Go, going all the way back to high school days, Jack in the Box. Oh, those, those tacos. tacos. Wow, they're awful. Yeah, you know, you know what? what? And if you ever have, if you wake up with a hangover one morning and you're on the fence, here's Lou Gallagher's advice. Go to Jim Boy's Tacos. Oh boy, that's And get a Jim Boy's Taco. Yeah. If you are gonna be sick, that's gonna help you. Yep. If you're not gonna be sick, that's gonna make you feel really good. Well, and there's a reason that uh, talk, or, uh, Jack in the Box tacos are two for 99 cents. Oh, uh, what do you say? Are you insulting my Jack in the Box tacos? You know what? what? They're just—they're not great. They're okay, but uh, yeah, give me a give me a Jim Boys. Oh man, that Parmesan on the—that's what I have to today. Oh, that Jim Boys. That's the best. Yeah, that's the best. All right, so drunk dining is our first story on men are so smart in this episode. Next up, Ronnie, a story that I know kind of tickled your fancy. Yeah, well, and it's still—it's related to food. Um, if you guys are familiar with the uh, Philadelphia Phillies, they have a mascot. They call him the Philly Fanatic. Oh, yeah, yeah, with that little thing that comes out. <laughs> yeah, it's got a little snout. looks kind of like a horn. So he rolled out on the field at Citizens Bank Park Monday night. Yeah. This has been a couple weeks ago. Uh, for a Phillies game when they were playing the Cardinals. And all the fans jumped to their feet because when the Fanatic comes out, he's just giving something away. Uh -huh. Well, in this case, he was giving away hot dogs. Free hot dogs? Free hot There's dogs. There's nothing better in the world than free hot dogs. Well, and having worked for the Kings, I know the apparatus they shoot them from. They shoot them from a little cannon. I want one then. So, and the way they, you can't just shoot a hot dog in a wrapper, so they have to duct tape it up so that it doesn't fall apart in the air. So they're launching some sort of a... a missile. A missile. It's a hot dog missile. <laughs> yeah. So he fires it up into the crowd, and a woman who was not paying particularly close attention, took it right to the face. Oh no, a wiener to the face? A wiener to the face. Oh no. Uh, nobody likes to see that. No. Yep. You know, it's a lot of fun until somebody loses an eye, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, it knocked her glasses off. Uh, she had some bruising, and she said she wasn't able to deflect it because she has a shoulder injury. Oh. Uh, I'm all too familiar with that, having had shoulder, shoulder surgery, so I kind of I kind of get it. But obviously now, I'm sure there's a, a lawsuit to follow. She says, the next thing I know, he shot, shot in her direction, and bam, it hit me like a ton of bricks. <laughs> Lady, come on, it's a hot dog. It's a hot dog. Maybe she, I did see the picture. She, her eye was bruised pretty good. Well, that was after her husband. Yeah, yeah. well, maybe. Yeah, because she uh, dropped the hot dog. Oh, and then get this. She went to the emergency room, and they gave her a CAT scan. Yes. Should have been a hot dog scan. Yeah, I would think. Yeah. Uh, so, so she has a hematoma in her eye, which is a, that's a bruise. Okay. We've well, thanks for dumping it down, Ron. Appreciate all, it. We've yeah. all had a bruise here and there. So You're about to get one. It's not that bad. Um, let's see. Oh, and of course the fanatic. He was he was mortified. He was traumatized. He was traumatized. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he was apologetic, as you can imagine. Um, but in the end, I'm sure it's going to cost them a little bit of money. She should have brought her glove. <laughs> Do they make a glove suitable for catching the hot dogs? I don't think so. I don't know. Come on, man. It wouldn't be a catcher's mitt. No. No, maybe a first baseman's glove would be appropriate. All right, we'll show a picture of this lady's mug. Uh, I'm sure. Her name is Sarah. I'm sure she won't mind. No, I'm no. sure she's thrilled. That's a to be, beautiful yeah. picture of her. Yeah. yeah, look at that. Wow. Well, and you know, the other thing is, if you're at a baseball game, you have to pay attention all the time. Because oh, yeah. Because bats get broken and end up in the stands. Foul balls uh, end up in the stands. Um, when I take my kids to a game, I tell them, hey, if you're going to be looking at your phone, then you need to go stand up at the concourse. Yeah, and even that, if you're at a Yankee game, you're not safe there. Right. <laughs> yes. So, um, so anyway, yeah, pay attention if you go to a baseball game. Now, I read a little bit more into this story, and I found out, Ronnie, there isn't going to be a lawsuit. Oh. No, she's, she says that she has been a lifelong Phillies fan, and that um, accidents happen, and she's not going to sue. Well, that's, you know what, I, that's to her credit. Because it would be, be kind of sad, because you know the next thing that would happen 
no more launching hot dogs. Uh, that'd be done, yeah. For, that'd, that'd be, at that'd be, any stadium, anywhere. That'd be done. Well, as it turns out, the Phillies offered her tickets to another game. Oh. Just not. And, and, and a, a welding well, helmet. <laughs> <laughs> and all the hot dogs she can eat from the vendor, not yeah. from the can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to the go to the customer area. Yep. All right. Let's see. Um, some of the comments here on this story. She's lucky it wasn't promotional steak knife day. <laughs> or, or bat day. Yeah. <laughs> and here's another comment. There's no crying in baseball. No. 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 Uh, let's see. Apparently, the all-new netting is not hot dog proof. <laughs> Well, I think that's obvious, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see. Uh, all right, that'll take it. This person says, take your base. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that'll wrap up another episode of Men Are So Wait Smart. Minute. Did she charge the fanatic after she got hit? Oh, like charge them out? Yeah. yeah. I don't think she did. Uh, that it's probably been. because of that thing that comes out. Yeah, you can only get so close. Yeah, you don't need that. Yeah. No, no one needs that. Nobody needs that. All right. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Good to see you. All right, that'll bring us to the conclusion of yet another episode of Men Are So Smart. We are coming to you from Stingray's Marina and Beach Boardwalk. And uh, they've got so much going on here, Ronnie. We're gonna move around and uh, try to show you some of the stuff in the area. And also we will bring you uh, Keith and Susan who run the place. Yep. And uh, hopefully, you know, maybe some of the um, customers that are here that are uh, regulars come by and enjoy the delicious barbecue burgers and stuff that they have here. I met Raymond inside yeah. and his brother Raymond. And their other brother, Raymond? So, okay. yeah. Uh, good, good. Uh, they've got like six or seven beers on tap here. This 805 is spectacular. I know, it really is good. Yeah. It's delicious. And also, um, they're open four days a week. They're open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And uh, come on out. Enjoy some peaceful time at a really chill setting. Uh, the river is just over to our stage right here. Yep. Um, the view is of a bridge that spans the river. One of only two ways to get over this river in this area. Um, you gotta go over either one of them, but you gotta go over one of them. <laughs> uh, so we'll be bringing you more of that. And uh, we'll, we'll also uh, tell you that we're operating here in about 100 degree temperatures. Roughly. Yeah, we don't want to exaggerate. It's 101, but it only feels like 100. Yeah, oh yeah, it's, it's cooling down. That's yeah. what it's doing. So that'll do it for us. If you'd like any more information on our show or either of us, uh, you'll find it below in the description along with all of our social media. Our website is menaresosmart.com. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corbett Ronnie. We'll see you on the next Men Are So Smart. Bye-bye.